Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the space updates with another Falcon 9 launch, this time from Space Launch Complex 40, carrying 22 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. Engine full power and liftoff of Starlink 615. Go Starlink, go Falcon. And here we can see Falcon 9 first stage landing on Just Read the Instructions drone ship for the fourth time. It was the fifth launch and landing for booster 1078. Starship represents a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, to Moon, Mars and beyond. And we have some close-up pictures shared by SpaceX of Starship B9 S25 before destacking it. We have temporary road delay of portion of State Highway 4 for Monday, September 18th between 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. with backup date of Tuesday, September 19th, same time. I think to move booster 10 back from Masai's test site to the build site for Raptor installation. We have big update from FAA. SpaceX conducted test flight of Starship Super Heavy at Boca Chica, Texas on April 20th, 2023. As a result of that launch, SpaceX completed a mishap investigation with FAA oversight. This investigation analyzed the launch, mishap events, and corrective actions before it is authorized to conduct a second Starship Super Heavy launch. SpaceX must obtain modified license from the FAA that addresses all safety, environmental, and other regulatory requirements. As a part of that license application determination process, the FAA will review new environmental information, including changes related to the launch pad, as well as other proposed vehicle and flight modifications. The FAA will complete written re-evaluation to the 2022 Programmatic Environmental Assessment, evaluating the new environmental information, including Endangered Species Act, consultation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. If the FAA determines through the written re-evaluation process that the contents of the programmatic environmental assessment do not remain valid in light of changes proposed for Flight 2, additional environmental review will be required. Accordingly, the FAA has not authorized SpaceX's proposed Flight 2. The FAA will provide updates with notification of any license determination or results of additional environmental review. To be honest, this is not looking good at all because if they determine that an additional environmental review is required, we won't see any Starship launch before the end of the year. FAA is in a bad place too with a lawsuit brought by the environmental groups. Let's hope they can work closely as always with SpaceX to get things done as fast as possible. This is Strato launches the ROC, carrying a personic flight vehicle Talon A. Strato launch team are working on Talon A1. The vehicle will be their first powered hypersonic vehicle. They are planning to fly it later this year. To power Talon A, they will use Ursa Major Headley engine. Glad we have the hot fire test of the Headley engine. Let's end the video with this nice sound. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.